What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Crazy Cards 12 here, and today we're going to go ahead and pick our games for Sunday and Monday. I cannot wait. Now, before we do that, let's go ahead and talk about our Thursday night game, Falcons and Eagles. Started off very sluggish, went to the half, Atlanta up 6-3, but Philadelphia, uh, Philadelphia came rolling back with the Philly special, and uh, it was actually pretty funny watching that play again. Um, the entire it actually brought the crowd back into it because the crowd was just booing Philadelphia every time they went back on offense. But um, yeah, overall, I actually like the game. I like games like this where it's a slugfest. It's you know grind it out. You know whoever gets the ball last or just anything like that. To me, this was actually a really good game. I liked it. Um, now let's we'll go ahead and talk about the quarterback play. Uh, one quarterback it was the rest all game. The other one had time in the pocket as the game got on. Uh, Philadelphia just took over this game, and it was all about the trenches. Uh, out of nowhere, Atlanta to stop getting pressure on uh, Nick Foles, and Nick Foles started doing Nick Foles things, which was turn around, hand the ball off to Jay Ajayi, and they were just opening holes. It was eight yards, five yards, eight yards, five yards, eight yards. Just able to go up the middle of the Atlanta defense and just dictate to them. Um, uh, on the other side of the football, that pass rush was starting to get at Matt Ryan. Um, the the play calling for the Falcons was just horrible, just horrible. Uh, every time they're in the red zone, and I'm thinking to myself, why are you doing bunch formations against this defense? Not only that, when they got intercepted, why did you do a comeback route against a team with corners that bite on everything? They bite. Why would you do a comeback route? So. That was just ridiculous. And Matt Ryan got intercepted. That could have been three points there. Um, when they were at the goal line at the beginning of the game, I get it. You really, you really want seven points. But the score is 0-0. Zero, zero. Just take a, kick the field goal. Just at least be up. But that's what happened. Philadelphia just took over this game. That pass was getting home. They put Matt Ryan on his back. Um, yeah, it just, to me, feels like the Falcons... They have a Dodge Charger. Not only not, it's not just a Dodge Charger; it's a Hellcat. That thing's like four hundred something horses. Everything. They have a dude that's driving it that doesn't know how to drive stick, and that's what's happening. Steve Sarkeesian, you're garbage. But Philadelphia, I thought they'll be in trouble because of the preseason and because it's just the play call it wasn't that good. But Doug Peterson was able to come through, and you guys have a good schedule coming up. You got the Jaguar. I was I think the next couple games you got like Titans and the Colts. So. They're fine. Out of nowhere, my nose starts getting stuffed up. Gotta love it. But anyway, down Thursday night football. Grass and the Eagles, they're one and all. Falcons, you gotta, you gotta turn this puppy around because now you got Saints and Carolina. But anyway, here we go. We got Bills at Ravens. I got the Ravens winning this. I It's Nathan Peter made our quarterback for the Bills. I mean, what do you want me to do with that? I'm sorry, Chris G613, but Bills at Ravens, that, that just screams to me, I'm gonna get intercepted every pass. Uh, Jaguars at Giants. Um, I'm gonna go with the Jaguars. I not not that I'm. I don't have a hatred for the Giants or anything. You know, I'm a Patriots fan here. But the reason why I'm leaning towards the Jaguars, I don't know what I'm getting out of the Giants. So I, by week four, everybody gets a flow of what their team's gonna be. But right now, I'm gonna stick with the Jaguars, and I think they're gonna be the same team when they were in the playoffs. Uh, next up, got Buccaneers at Saints. Listen. This is one reason why I can never pick a Buccaneers game. I got the Saints. I, I'm sorry. I got Drew Brees. I got Sean Payton. Buccaneers. I got a quarterback that likes to touch women. And I also got a head coach that's about to be fired in a couple days. So I can't do that. I'm going with the Saints. Texans at Patriots. This is one of those games when this could be an upset. Now, New England is undefeated at home going against the Texans. However, I think the Texans might get the first W. I did pick... Uh, on here, I did pick New England, but in my heart of hearts, I think the Texans might win this one. We got 49ers at Vikings. Oh my God, I can't breathe today. 49ers at Vikings. I got the Vikings. All right, Jimmy Garoppolo, you're amazing. But the Vikings overall have a better team than you. It's kind of like when Packers go against the Vikings. Like, yeah, you got Aaron Rodgers, but there's nothing else around you, and you're going against a Minnesota team that's completely stacked at each level. So I got Minnesota. Titans at Dolphins. And the Titans are going to win this. I, I have no faith in, a, in Adam Gase and Ryan Tannehill, who's missed football for almost two years. He missed just as much time as Andrew Luck. Can't do it. I'm going to Tennessee Titans. Cincinnati Bengals and uh, the Colts. I'm only picking the Colts for one reason, one reason only. You got Andrew Luck. 
Hopefully he comes back and actually plays really well. But I got Andrew Luck winning that game. Steelers at Browns. <sighs> this is my upset of the week. I usually like to pick one game for an upset. I think this, of all the games we're playing, this is my upset of the week. Steelers at Browns. A lot of drama right now with uh, Le'Veon Bell not showing up. He might not show up to week 10. and A lot of this stuff is coming out. And supposedly he lied to his teammates. He's supposed to show up on Wednesday. Now he's not showing up to week 10. Listen, this is might as well be the days of our lives because there's always something going on each week with the Pittsburgh Steelers. But I think I'm going to get get Cleveland. They're actually going to win for once. They're actually going to get that first win of the season. It might be first of like two more. So Cleveland, you're beating the Steelers. That's what I got. Chiefs at Chargers. I'm picking the Chiefs, but for one reason, uh, one reason only. They're the Chiefs are going to win by two points. The Chargers are going to be in field goal range, and they're not going to be able to hit it. So Chiefs win by at least two. Seahawks at Broncos. Uh, I would pick the Broncos, but there's only one reason why I'm picking the, uh, the Seahawks. That's because you got Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, he's he's one of those dudes who you watch on TV, it's third down, and he does something crazy. And then you're like cursing, yelling, you're about to put a hole in the wall. That's who Russell Wilson is. That's what he does on third down. He drives me crazy. I hate picking against him because he does that to me. So I'm picking the Seahawks. Cowboys at Panthers. Cowboys got no receivers. Carolina has arguably the best front seven in the NFL. I'm, I'm, I'm taking Carolina. Redskins at Cardinals. Uh, I'm going to pick... Uh, I'm going to take the Redskins over the Cardinals. Sam Bradford's probably going to get injured in this game. If not, it'll be next week. The Cardinals, there they, they have a weak O-line. Uh, that was one of their big problems. And going against the Redskins, where they have like two like first-round picks in that D-line going after them. I think it'll be a long day for Sam Bradford, so I got the Redskins. Uh, Bears at Packers. Uh, this possibly could be an upset, but I'm actually going to... Rethinking about this, I'm just going to stick with the Packers. Um, I wanted to pick the Bears. I really like Khalil Mack. And I think if there was a game that Aaron Rodgers would get injured, I think this would be the game. I don't want him to get injured, but I just feel like the Packers really don't have a dude one-on-one -on -one that could stop Khalil Mack. So I got the Packers winning this game. Got Aaron Rodgers. What could he do? Uh, Monday night games, you got Jets at Lions. The Lions are going to win that. And then you got the Rams versus the Raiders. It's pretty much the equivalent of a boxer versus some dude who just came off the street that wants to box. All right. Uh, I got the Rams just annihilated the Raiders. So anyway, that is my week one picks. I started off on one big thanks because of Atlanta. Uh, hopefully next week they can get their heads out of their buttocks. And hopefully I can pick them with confidence. But anyway, those are my weeks for week one. Do you guys agree? Do you guys like Leave your comments down below. I want to hear everybody's opinion down below. Give me, down below, your big upset of the week. I want to hear who you think is going to get the W coming out of nowhere. All right? This is Crazy Guard 12. Hope you guys liked the video. See you next time. Peace.